She is so inspirational, man. Check out the video that follows this. You'll see what I mean. Rio 2016. Mara Abbott. Truly inspirational. Here, 
right now, sitting in your seat in Max, the auditorium. And so I'm actually going to modify principle five slightly, just to make it applicable to a broader audience. Live devoted to your core values, because core values are the ultimate tool in resilience. As long as you are clear on them, they will guide you in what you do in the present second. And your action in the present second is really the only thing that you can control. So this is resilience. These are my principles of it. And this is my way of getting to what I would consider to be the greatest contributor to my success as a cyclist. Maybe you think this doesn't apply to you. Maybe you think that you don't need resilience. None of us wants to admit vulnerability. I always used to think that I was absolutely bulletproof because I had insulated myself successfully to a lot of risks. And the things I had managed to insulate myself to, I was pretty tough and I could take them. Well, the problem with insulating yourself to risks is you start to limit yourself because you can only do the things that are guaranteed to bring you success. But I was okay with that. I, said I had accepted that because it kept me safe and it kept me secure. For instance, I would train alone. I, I can still train alone all the time. And I go and I ride up into the mountains in Colorado. And we have all these beautiful canyons. And I ride up them sometimes multiple times a day, the same canyon. And so I know them through the seasons. I notice when gravel gets shot onto the road between one day and another. And I know what they look like at all times of the day. It's a sort of ownership. It's relationship with these canyons. I mean, honestly, you talk to a friend and she's worried about the guy who's going to call her or he's not going to call her, and this is a big drama. But for me, the mountains are my best friends. It's pretty bulletproof. Except last fall, we had a little bit of a flood in Colorado. And I don't know if any of you guys heard about this, but it was an absolutely unprecedented weather event. I do not think there was a single person whose home wasn't impacted or whose road wasn't destroyed. Four people were killed, and the canyons, basically from the yellow line in the road to the other side of the river, was gone. Just the road was gone. It was only a half-sized road anymore. As a result, you were not allowed to ride your bicycle up the canyons because recreationalists were kind of discouraged. At this time, I had also just gotten back from Worlds and it had been a race that people had been putting a lot of hopes on me for, and I definitely had to pull through. And then we also got news that a good friend in our cycling community in Boulder, Amy Dombrowski, had been killed in a training accident in Belgium. <coughs> and I needed solace, and I wanted to go to the mountains, and I couldn't. And the reality was that even if your best friends are mountains, you can still get wet. Truly, it is impossible to insulate ourselves to the inherent risk in being human. Nothing is guaranteed except that something is going to happen and that you are going to have the opportunity to react to it. And if nothing is guaranteed, that's why we're going to need resilience. And here's how I would define it in my own working definition. Resilience. It's the ability to constantly and creatively evolve while acting from the deepest convictions of your heart. To live this way is a privilege. It's what allows me to win bike races, and it is what can allow you to win at life. Thank you. Coming to you live from Boulder, Colorado, here with Mara Abbott. We've got some questions we're going to ask her today. What was your first bike that you had as a kid? 
There's a hand-me-down from my big brother. Nice pink bike. We named it Watermelon. Watermelon. Did it have black spots on it too? It didn't, but it did have the little neon things that went up and down of the spoke. Those are fun. All right. So if you were racing your bike right now, what song would be going through your head? I'm going to pop some tags. Got $20 in my pocket. I'm coming looking for a hookup. This is awesome. <laughs> right. That, that is a, a good motivational song to have there. All right. Your favorite sports team? The Rockies. Alright. If you could be on any kind of reality TV show, what would it be? Survivor. Ooh. That's an interesting one. What was your college mascot? Missionaries, missionaries, we're on top. <laughs> How did they come up with that as a mascot for college? Because it was founded by missionaries. Right. By Marcus Whitman. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. All right, we're going to play a little speed round of questions. Let's see, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. iPhone or Blackberry? Blackberry. Beach or Mountain? Mountain! Books or eatery? Bookie. Book. <laughs> <laughs> I need an answer. Come on. Feed. Feed. Books! <laughs> Dogs or cats? Do cats! <laughs> Coffee or tea? Decaf! <laughs> Hamburger or hot dog? Hamburger. Football baseball? Baseball! Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift. Swifty! <laughs> 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 